My name is Rebecca Stanley and I'm a lawyer and also a family mediator, mediator here at Connect Family Law. It can be really hard to know what type of mediator to use if you and your spouse have decided to use mediation to resolve your family law issues. There are two main types of mediators. The first one is called evaluative. An evaluative mediator is quite focused in on what your positions are and evaluating them, helping you be realistic about what you are thinking uh, you will get out of your, whatever the issue is in front of you. Uh, they'll often focus on risk and they'll evaluate whether you're being reasonable or unreasonable. They may say, oh, well, if you went to court, that's not what a judge would do. Uh, they'll focus a lot on compromise and helping you and your spouse, former spouse, compromise on the issues so that you can come to an agreement. An interest-based mediator is a little different. Interest-based mediator will focus in not so much on what may happen if you went to court, but look at what your concerns and your goals are, what you are hoping for for the future and what's important to you. They'll ask the same things of your spouse. And once you've figured out what both of you care about the most in the circumstance, uh, what your goals are, then they'll help you resolve that in a creative agreement that ensures that both of you have those main goals met uh, while maybe giving on some of the other issues that aren't as important to you. Many mediators are somewhere on the spectrum between evaluative and interest-based. Me, for example, I would be an interest-based mediator, but there are definitely times when working with couples where an evaluative approach is helpful. And my time as a, as a clerk working with judges really helps to inform me on that aspect of things. That's another difference between mediators. Some mediators are lawyers and some are not lawyers. You can be trained as a mediator without going to law school. And so you need to know the difference between that. A lawyer mediator can talk to you about legal issues. They won't be giving you legal advice. They're not advocating for you because they are a neutral third party, but they can share legal information. They can do calculations, for example, of support. Um, and they may also speak into what they think might happen or what, what might be reasonable in court. Non-lawyer mediator has other strengths. They might be a therapist or they may work with children. And so they, or they might be a financial specialist, that sort of thing. And so that type of mediator would have their own skills um, and bring something to the table, but they're not gonna be able to uh, speak about the law in the same way as a lawyer. And they can't draft a separation agreement, which a lawyer mediator may do for you. So. This is just a, a brief snapshot of differences between mediators. I think the most important thing though is the style or just the, the personality of the mediator. Is it somebody that you would feel comfortable with that's gonna create a safe environment for you um, as a third party, not as your advocate, but as a neutral party that is there to help both you and your spouse uh, create an environment where the two of you can come to an agreement. I would love to be that mediator for you um, if it makes sense in your circumstance. So please do give us a call at, here at Connect Family Law or check out our website and uh, I'd be happy to assist. Thanks.